Hi everyone, this is Hannah from the Taylor Public Library, back with another story time. Okay, this week we are dedicating story time to restaurants and restaurant workers, so I've got some restaurant-themed books here. But first, I wiggle my fingers, I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose, and now the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as still can be. Our first story is called Pizza at Sally's by Monica Wellington. Sally the pizza maker grows tomatoes in her community garden in the city. These tomatoes are for pizza. Wheat grown on farms far away is milled into flour and delivered to Sally's Pizzeria. This flour is for pizza. Milk is made into cheese and sold in the shop next door. This cheese is for pizza. Sally opens her pizzeria in the morning. Hungry customers will be arriving soon. Orders will be coming in over the phone. But now it's time to make pizza. Cut, chop, stir, and simmer. There are good cooking smells in the air. Sally makes her tomato sauce. Measure and mix with water and yeast. Sally starts the dough for her famous pizza crust. Push, pull, punch, and pound. She kneads her stretchy dough and leaves it to rise. The dough is just right. Sally rolls it and folds it and rolls it again. Whoosh, she twirls it up into the air. Now everything is ready to put together. First comes the pizza dough, then the tomato sauce. Then freshly grated cheese is sprinkled on top. Perfect. Sally slides her pizza into the hot oven. Mmm, the pizzeria smells delicious as the pizza bakes. Out it comes, bubbly and hot. Quick, slice up the pizza and it's ready to eat. Pop the pizza into a box. Some customers take theirs home to eat. Some have it delivered. But eating pizza right here at Sally's Pizzeria is the best of all. The busy day is over and the last customers have gone. Now Sally and her little helper can relax and enjoy a slice themselves. How yummy. Look how cute her little helper is. And there's even a recipe in the back if you want to check out the book. Now we've got a rhyme about hot dogs. Repeat after me. Five little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. 
Four little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. One little hot dog frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. No little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam. Next we have a story called Happy Belly, Happy Smile by Rachel Isadora. Friday is my favorite day. On Fridays I have dinner with Grandpa Sam. He owns a restaurant in Chinatown. There is a big fish tank in the window and everyone stops to look. Hi Louie, says Dan the waiter when we come in. Everyone is very busy eating. In the kitchen, I say hello to Chef Ben. There is so much steam, I can hardly see him. Hi, Louie, is that you? He says. David is busy rolling egg rolls. Liang is peeling shrimp. I like to watch Chef Lee chop vegetables. His hands move so fast. Imagine, chop, 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 chop. Suddenly Jay rushes in. Delivery pickup. He takes the bags and puts them on his bicycle and then rides away. He even delivers in the pouring rain, Liang says. Where are the spare ribs for table eight? Calls Dan from the door. They're on their way, another waiter shouts back. Everything is very hustle and bustle in the back of a restaurant. Time to eat, Grandpa Sam says. I'm hungry. Me too, I say. We sit at a table under the paper dragon, which Grandpa says brings good luck. I see my friend. Hey, Franklin, I say. This is my favorite food, he tells me. Cool, I say. Me too. My grandpa and I eat with chopsticks, but most of the time at home, I use a fork, knife, and spoon. The waiter brings a big bowl of rice. He brings steamed dumplings, egg rolls, and shrimp chow mein, my favorite. Grandpa orders a fish. No thank you, Grandpa. The waiter brings crabs. I don't think so. At the end of dinner, Grandpa gives me a fortune cookie. I open it up and Grandpa reads, happy food, happy belly, happy smile. Then the waiter puts a dish of orange slices on the table. I go over to Franklin and he turns around. Grandpa laughs. Now that's what I call a happy smile.
Now we've got a rhyme about apples. A little red apple hung high in a tree. I looked up at it and it looked down at me. Come down please, I called. And what do you suppose? That little red apple fell right on my nose. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mmm, they were good. Let's do that one again. Do the movements with me. A little red apple hung high in a tree. I looked up at it and it looked down at me. Come down please, I called, and what do you suppose? That little red apple fell right on my nose. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mmm, they were good. Our next story is called Stanley's Diner. Check out all the food stuff. It's going to be another busy day at Stanley's Diner. What is Stanley doing? He is in the kitchen cooking eggs, tomatoes, and mushrooms. Stanley's friend Hattie works in the diner too. Hattie writes the menu on the blackboard. Look at the menu. It says eggs, tomatoes, toast, pancakes, tea, and coffee. Myrtle is here for her breakfast. She would like eggs and toast, please, and a cup of coffee. Stanley has a very big toaster. Ping! Eight slices all at once. At lunchtime, Charlie and his friend Gabriel have pancakes with lots and lots of syrup. Look at all that syrup. Where has Stanley been in his pickup truck? He has made a special trip to the store. And now he's baking a special cake. Who could it be for? It's for little Wu. It's his birthday. Everyone sings. Happy birthday, little Woo. And everyone has a piece of cake. Yum. Now Stanley cleans up. Look at all those dishes he has to wash. Well, what a busy day. Time for supper, time for a bath. And time for bed. Good night, Stanley. That was our last story, so you know what we do now. We tickle the clouds, we tickle our toes, we turn around, turn around, touch your nose, crouch down low, reach up high, story time's over, wave goodbye. Goodbye!